everyone. Hi everyone. I got my COVID mask on. Isn't it nice to have a, ma a mask to match your outfit? I thought so. So anyway, welcome. I'm Nancy and I'm so happy to have you join me tonight. And um, I just want to thank again my subscribers, my viewers. It means the world to me to have you stop in and visit from time to time. Um, if you are new to my channel, I hope that you please hit that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And today I am just going to be doing a quick or what I think in my mind is going to be quick but it probably won't be um, a QVC and home shopping network haul and it's just a mini haul just a couple of different items that I got um, I'm probably just going to kind of maybe hold up the items show you what I got and then maybe just uh, fast forward it through some different looks that you can get with them so I'm hoping that sounds okay but anyway this is the first item that I'm wearing and of course it's Friday right so anyway um I went back to work on Thursday this week. I was out of work for a little over a week and a half. First few days, I was, I was, uh, you know, I was, yeah, I was out of it. But um, you know, I then I found out I had been exposed to COVID, so I ended up going in for a COVID test, which, woohoo, came back negative. Um, the waiting is the worst part. But um, anyway, so the day I got my COVID test results, I kind of dressed up in a crazy outfit. I had my toilet scrubbing brush on. I put feather in my hair. I had a boa on my neck, a feather boa, a cigarette thing, and some long uh, gloves. So anyway, just a fun fun look. Took a picture and put some COVID free and stuff like that on it. Sent it to my bosses. And then I thought, oh, you know, as long as I'm dressed up like this, I mean, how often does it happen when it's not Halloween? So of course I made a couple of videos. So I will link uh, one of them up there that kind of explains and shows that dress if you're interested in seeing that. And Friday, of course, so I had got my second order of a uh, wine in from Purple Toad Winery. And I got this, this was like a thing from Barbara Jean from Ages Just a, Ages Just a Number by Barbara Jean on uh, one of her uh, wine Wednesdays. And she had talked about her sister-in-law sending her a bottle of wine from this place. So anyway, I had to check them out. I ordered some wine. Oh my God, it was so, so good that I put in a second order that order came in last week and it kind of had to sit on my desk because I couldn't go into the building. And so when I came in Thursday, I ripped open the bottom. I was bottle. I was so the bottles, the bag, uh, box, or whatever it was in. But anyway, I was so excited. I took a couple of bottoms bottles home. I don't know why I keep saying bottoms. Why am I obsessed with bottoms today? Uh, could be the wine. So and then the rest I put in the refrigerator. And then today at work. Um, about three o'clock I took some of those bottles out and I put some solo cups out and just we all kind of had like a little wine tasting party so we had this one which was by far the favorite what was red muscadine very very sweet this is on a scale of four on this sweetness scale just very very good we had chocolate harbor which is really it was chocolate and blackberry it was a little too chocolatey for me but I do have some leftover, so I'm thinking maybe some white ice, white ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and uh, maybe heat it up and pour that over there, and that would be good. Kind of drown out the chocolate flavor. And then the other one was the watermelon wine, and that one was another big hit there. So anyway, I then it was so good that I went back to my desk, and I put in a third order already. So looking forward to getting that next week, but that's not why we're here, that's another video. So anyway, I got some items from QVC, Home Shopping Network. Everything I got was either the today's special value or it was on clearance. I've got like an as is here that didn't come with tags. Um, just really, really great prices. Um, the Ebates or Rakuten, whatever you want to call it. Um, the days I ordered, I had 10 and 15% evil um, cash back. Um, Everything that I bought was either like three, four, five, or six evil pays. They call it easy pays. I call it e evil pays. It just makes everything really affordable. So this first one that I got is this uh, long duster. Um, and it comes with a maxi dress. And from my favorite designer at QVC, uh, this is, let's see if I can pull up this tag, Attitudes by Renee. And her, one of her mottos is fashion. It's all about, it's not about size. It's about attitude. And what I love about her clothes is that when she has her models come on, 
um, they're all different sizes. So you might see someone that's like a negative 20 zero or something, all the way up to maybe a size 20. And they all, all look fantastic. They're all wearing the same outfits. She'll have like petite people, okay, petite people, and then she'll have tall people. And the outfits just look good on, on everyone. So if you know, no matter what you get, it's going to look fantastic on you too. So anyway, the I got three of these outfits that day. They were the today's special value. They were $56.46 and it came with this long duster coat, the maxi dress. They were also on for Evil Pays. These are still on the website, not all the colors that were available, uh, but now it's 62.12 and they're on three Easy Pays as of last night. So anyway, this first one came with this they're calling it navy, but it's like a bright, brighter navy to me. Kind of like a cross between navy and royal. And it came with this long duster. It's got buttons that go all the way down to the knee. So you can wear this as a duster. You can wear it as a, just a quick um, overcoat if you're going out and the weather's just a little too chilly. Um, I wore this today with jeans and a camisole, but I know I'll, I'll wear it at another time with that navy dress. I may also wear this as a dress itself. Like I said, it buttons down from the top. It goes down to right below the knees. It's a little bit bigger than the maxi. I got, um, I just got an extra small. I, I think in, if I had gone any smaller than this, I wouldn't be able to wear, see if I wanted to wear it over a sweater. So it makes sense that the duster would be big. It does have pockets. And again, it's a nice length on me. They had, um, petite lengths and regular lengths and of course I got regular because I don't want to go on too much above my ankles and um, some of them did come with a matching mask this one is sold out but they still have some others that are on the wait list I'm thinking if I wore this as a dress I might want to wear it with a belt and of course I don't have a big belt selection I think I put it on backwards and I'm not really good with belts either but um, yeah, so it just kind of gives you an idea of what it would look like. Just trying to give it a little bit of shape. Maybe like a skinny belt would go better. So I might maybe just go on Amazon and look for some a black belt or something that's a little bit skinnier. My other belts are just too big. I've got this white one too. That might be a little too stark, but maybe if it was you know, a skinny one, maybe it wouldn't look that bad. Yeah, probably this is too stark for this. But anyway, I am going to stop talking. And you're saying, yay, stop talking, Nancy. And I uh, just kind of maybe try some things on that I got from, and again, I should probably show you what they are, right? So anyway, you've seen this first one. Let me just open this because I don't really like it closed. But again, this can be worn with a maxi dress. Again, I just wore it over jeans and a camisole, but imagine this with a nice pair of black leggings. So anyway, this was the first one. And this one, when I got um, a couple of weeks ago, I won Kristen from Kristen's Moments of Sanctuary, her giveaway. And in the box, there were this pair of earrings. And I instantly thought of this because I had just ordered this from QVC that day. So this is called the gentleman and there's all kinds of black and white here like check checked pattern like squares it's like a hound's tooth and i just thought that would go brilliantly with those earrings this one came with a black maxi dress but again this over a pair of jeans or black jeans or a pair of leggings that one also came with a matching mask so I want to wear that. I can wear this mask. Uh, this one, Kayla, don't hate me. This has got like all these kind of animal prints in here. So we got zebra, we've got leopard, maybe we've got cheetah. It's like, oh, just a reptile. Let's show you the back. And it's the camel and the black and the white. And anyway, I just love the pattern on this. This one came with this color dress underneath it which isn't the most flattering on me because it shows everything in here where the darker colors can kind of camouflage things but this one also came with a matching mask so I can imagine that I would probably want to wear that over the black maxi or 
something like that. Then I got this little sweater from Nina Leonard. This was on my as is my returns. And they were calling this one the cloud sweater. It's got a little gold clasp right here. And again, it's a duster length, but it goes down to about the knee. There's like teal, there's rust, there's pink, there's cream, there's black, there's gray. Just a lot of colors. I just think that will be nice and versatile. It's got some nice deep pockets. And from CC, I got two items. When I got these, these were Home Shopping Works value of the day. And this one, and again, it's that kind of blue. So it's like a sapphire blue, maybe, with this tiny little leopard or cheetah print. It's got these three-quarter sleeves and these things. And when I did wear this Thursday, um, yeah, this, these were driving me crazy. I was going to have somebody um, maybe tighten, push it up above my elbows, and then tie it really tight for me. But then I thought, what happens if everybody leaves the building and I forget to ask them to untie me? I'd be stuck in it overnight, so I didn't. But anyway, I love this from CC. And again, that's the first time I bought anything from that line. And then I got a pair of jogger, crop joggers. <laughs> I know, don't fall off your chair because, yeah, it's a pretty big thing in my life. But anyway, these have... Uh, this ruching at the end with this tie so that you can bring it up if i left it all the way down it would just be a regular length on me i think i bought the tall in this uh, just so i could have the longer length in case i wasn't crazy about it but i did wear when i wore it on thursday i did ruch this up so that i had my heels showing and i thought it looked nice um i probably could have gone down a size i got a small in this so um it's really it's just this, this um elasticized waist here so it's you know a little bit of puckering right here you got some side pockets oh sorry it is an extra small but so anyway it's a little big in through here in the legs but it's it is really really comfortable it is a polyester blend material so it's a little bit dressier so and that's what i was looking for something that i could have a nice material to dress up and wear to work or wear heels with it and so i think this will fit the bill i'm I think I'd probably still be on the hunt for a better fitting one, but for now it'll do. And of course, if I could find one that's a really, really soft, soft, cozy, like a fleece or soft like a fleece, just to kind of lounge around the house, I would, I would be open to that. But I wouldn't want, I mean, some of them that I tried on were just really, really tight at the ankles. The one that Stitch Fix um, sent that I wasn't crazy about because the material was just, it was hard, it was crisp, it wasn't, it wasn't comfortable, it was, it was, a great price for stitch fix but i think you could go to old navy and walmart spend five five or ten dollars and have something that's a little bit better quality a little bit softer but not perfect but anyway i will link that stitch fix up there too so you can see what i was talking about with and it had a wide cuff at the bottom that was really comfortable but the rest of the pants just they just they were hard they were just it wasn't soft but anyway i think that's everything I'm going to try some different looks with these, fast forward it, and not sure if I'll come back at the end, but if I don't, I want to thank everyone for watching. Your support means everything in the world to me. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Uh, your comments, of course, are always welcome, and we will chat again soon, everybody. Till the next time. Bye-bye.
I am coming back on for the last look and I've got still got the maxi dress on from um, Attitudes by Renee but I put on this little jacket which is a little snug but I got this um, and just to, to show just pulling things out of your closet giving things a fresh look with new things just it's just a lot of fun I think that's part of the fun of being a girl right so anyway I got this from the clothes mentor um, and um, I went online it was after I had watched one of Barbara Jean's age is just a number by Barbara Jean and she had mentioned one of her favorite retailers was the clothes mentor and little did I know but they're all over the place I've got one 10 minutes down the street but anyway I had gone online to her store in Texas and fell in love with this little Michael jo Michael Kors jacket and I think maybe it was twenty dollars I'm not really sure but anyway I thought it was really cute Got these polka dots maybe like a Dalmatian these big black buttons and after I had paid for it, she had, you know, I got the uh, confirmation that it was going to be shipping, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I got another little email from uh, Clothes Mentor and just said that when she went to package it, she noticed that uh, the sleeves had some um, makeup or some self -tanner, tanning on it. And so she said she would include it at no charge because she does not charge for faulty merchandise. So anyway, I came home, I tried washing it. It didn't come out, but you know what I used? I used Scentsy bathroom cleaner on it and it came right out. So as much as I appreciate her send, sending this to me at no charge, I, I feel bad that she paid someone for the merchandise. Someone came into the store, tried it on, got it dirty, put it back up on the rack for somebody else to buy. Had maybe another salesperson wrapped it up or someone else that saw it and didn't notice it, you know, they would have gone home and, you know, wanted to return it for that. So it's just... You know when you do try things on in the store it's or even when I try things home at, at, at home from like Stitch Fix and Transcend and I have makeup on I'm very very careful when I put things over my head and whatever so that I don't damage anything so I but anyway I feel bad that she sent this to me for free but I do love it and I have since put in another order so I am loving one of the dresses that I got from her so anyway I want to thank everyone for joining me this has been a lot of fun for me just trying different things on let me know if you like that kind of thing when I get um some new clothes in or something if I just maybe take things out of my closet show different looks with them if you're interested in that that would be great and uh, we will chat again soon I hope everyone goes out enjoys the weekend and has a fantastic week I'm a little slow at responding so I don't even know if I'm going to get this posted before the weekend's over so anyway I'm losing my voice so I think I should have some wine and go to sleep what do you think anyway bye-bye everybody have a great weekend